Hello guys, we are here and today I'm going to show you how to use a program called LiveSuit. Um, and LiveSuit is basically a program they use to flash tablets. Now, everybody knows these simple tablets, there are um, some Chinese tablets and one of the issues with them is that either they start getting slow or they get stuck on the boot screen. So whatever the issue is and you need to flash it, I'm going to show you how to actually um, wipe this device clean to fix almost any problems or most of the problems that occur with this device right? the most common of which is the device being stuck on the Android boot screen like this one now it will not move from the screen it will be stuck here indefinitely until the battery dies right? I'll show you how to bypass this or to get around it now if you have your firmware file already that's good and usually these are um, .img files um, if you have that already um, that's good but if you don't I'll put a link to a article where I'll show you how to find your firmware file. Or I'll actually put a link to the video I did on that. All right, so you can go over to the blog and then get all the information you need. All right, so let's start with the flashing process. Now, first thing you want to do is then make sure that you power off your um, tablet. Okay, I'm also gonna put a link to download in the um, live suit. Right. Now, once the tablet is off, you have to make sure that it's also charged, fully charged, or at least up to 60%. Now, what we're going to do next is that you're going to download the live suit program. If you look on my desktop over here, right here, um, it's kind of blurry because I'm using the camera. Now, the live suit, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to, one, what we do is actually download it, then I'm going to extract it, and then we're going to launch it after it's extracted in the folder. So you go inside of the folder here, there's going to be one file at first, then you're going to extract all of them, and then you're going to find the launcher, then you're going to launch the, the live suit program, right? It should run. Now, after it starts up for the first time, there should be a driver warning I'm going to tell it to go ahead or the second option now if you're using Windows 8 one of the problems that we're having is that it won't run now if you just look at the link to the blog in the description you can go over and I'll show you how to fix that so if you're on Windows 8 and it's not launching or running I have the fix for that it's on the blog you can read that there right. so let's say that it's not running all right so as we said before, uh, we're going to launch it. Alright, now this is the, yes, this is what's supposed to happen. Now you're going to see this um, welcome to live suit and all of this. You're going to select no. Alright, now you look here, you're going to select the image file. You're going to browse, you're going to select it, and you're going to open. Cool. Now once that is open, like this, you're going to hold the tablet. The tablet make sure it's off and make sure it's not connected to the PC then you're gonna hold the volume up button right and once you hold the volume up button you're gonna collect this to the PC And you're gonna listen for that and then you're gonna repeatedly press the power button ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now once you repeatedly um do that, something like this should power one screen. Screen. See that? So remember, you're gonna hold volume up, do not let go. Straight through. You're gonna connect the charger sorry not the charger the usb cable to the pc and while that's happening you're going to press this repeatedly 10 times all right and if you see on the screen now it should say um if you should do the mandatory format you're going to select yes and it asks if you want to force format you're going to say yes if you notice now it's running through the process and what it's doing now, it's actually trying to flash the tablet. You'll have to give it a little time. You'll not see anything on screen on the tablet. 
um, the only thing that you use to know is the sounds and the warning on screen all right now for different tablets it might take up to two to three minutes if the firmware file is wrong the tablet will not boot but if it's correct after it's finished it should boot and this will work for any .img file on any of those um, Chinese tablets right so it should work just fine all right so as we said it does give it a little time it should be slow but it should work all right 